Greetings, St. Martin in the Fields. My name is Alan Bentrup, and I am excited to accept the call as your next rector. I'm currently sitting in my office in Columbia, South Carolina, where I serve as canon for evangelism and mission in the Diocese of Upper South Carolina. In this call, I travel around to our congregations, helping to discern and practice how we share and show the good news of God in Christ to the world around us. And now, I'm excited that I get to do that work with you all. For my family, this is an opportunity to come home. My wife grew up in the Dallas area and I grew up in West Fort Worth. About 15 years ago, she and I set out for Houston, Texas for what was supposed to be a couple of years. Little did we know that a decade and a half later, we would have spent time in different states, in different careers, even in seminary. But it was time to come home. Our two boys, Ford and Walker, will be in middle school, and we're excited that they have the opportunity to continue growing up near their grandparents, near their aunts and uncles, and near their cousins. We'll be moving in mid-July. We just signed a lease on a place in North Richland Hills. And my time with you all will begin at the end of July, and our first Sunday together will be August 1st. My wife will be teaching third grade at the Episcopal School of Dallas, and she's excited to be getting back into the classroom. Wanted to say thank you to Sue and to Rex and to the search committee for the work they've done over these past months to help figure out who God was calling to serve at St. Martin's. I'm thankful for the time they spent with me where I was able to share a little bit about myself and learn a little bit about you all. And I'm thankful that we discern together that this is the place to which God was calling me. I'm thankful for Keen and for the vestry and for the trust they've placed in me. And I look forward to the shared work ahead of us. And I'm looking forward to meeting each and every one of you. I'm not great with names, and so I ask for your patience as I figure out who everyone is. But I know that we will have years ahead of us to learn each other's stories, to bear one another's burdens, and to walk together as fellow disciples of Jesus Christ. I will be praying for you all in these weeks ahead, and I ask that your prayers will continue for me and my family that our move will go smooth because you know how moves sometimes go. And when you've got a 13 and an 11 year old boy that, boys that you're uprooting from the life they've known for three years, I ask your prayers for patience for Elizabeth and me and for an open mind and heart for Ford and Walker. They're excited to be closer to family. They're excited that our house has a pool. They're excited to meet new people but saying goodbye is hard. And so I ask your prayers for them and for us. And I ask that we all pray for the work that lies ahead of us, that God will continue to guide our steps as we seek to be who Christ is calling us to be. And now may the peace that passes all human understanding guard our hearts and our minds in the knowledge and love of God and of God's Son, Jesus Christ. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with us this day and remain with us always. Amen.